Miles, power. if I could just ask you really yeah, quickly, yeah. from your experiences on the ground there, were people worried about this escalating? Were people worried about nuclear explosions and tactical nukes when you were there? What was the what was the gist uh, of what people were seeing there and what they were thinking was going to happen there? So I was speaking mainly to the women and children at first, and a lot of them don't have a hope in the war because they know their governments like Ukraine is very corrupt in general and I'm, I'm pro-Ukraine but you know they have a lot of issues yeah. so they don't think that Ukraine's going to be uh, acting in their best interest in general and they talked about the idea of a nuclear weapon going off because they know if a nuclear weapon goes off um, that the Ukrainian uh, government will get tons of funding and support and everything like they're doing now so they'll probably let it happen or even escalate it to that point on purpose that's what some of their theories and some of the soldiers I was speaking to on the front lines of Kharkiv are saying, yeah, we, we're seeing this right now. We're actually winning. We can see them being squeezed, basically. And when they get squeezed, they go panic and something will be set off. But they also told me how the nuclear weapon uh, system works in 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 Russia. So in the US, you know, Joe Biden, he has a Joe Biden moment, maybe presses a button, right? It's a nuclear, he has a nuclear <laughs> yeah. football. Exactly. But... In, in Russia, how it works is the president calls up a uh, you know, nuclear submarine, goes, oh, ring, ring, hello, uh, nuke, please. And then all those people have to agree on it. So there's a, a two-step verification Three system. Three-step verification system, yes. actually. Oh, yes. uh, it's, I think it's like someone in the General Assembly, and then they have to... So it's a number of people that do have to agree that they're going to be launching the nuke. And this could be why, allegedly, we're hearing reports. Again, I'm very skeptical whenever we hear, you know, Putin was sabotaged here and here. Mm -hmm. Because, again, you can't trust a lot of these reports. There's no evidence behind them yeah. but it's three phone calls that need to be made and three uh, different groups of people that have to decide yes we're launching this nuke oh, exactly uh, yeah you've unlike got... the united states where biden just brings in the nuclear football launch exactly yeah, yeah. and you gotta think of the psychology of these people so these ordinary people working for military in a nuclear summary not earning so much you gotta think okay well they were in the soviet union obviously because they've climbed so high since then and those were the glory days where things were a lot better than they are now right um, and they had that national pride. They thought they were top of the world. They were a superpower at that point. And now they're probably demoralized and they're thinking, well, you know, is it really worth launching a nuke? Do I really believe in my leader? Is our country still great right now? It's like America's problem as well. So I honestly think it might just stop. They might order a nuke and then they say, hell no, I don't want uh, my women um, back home, my, my uh, mother, my wife, my sister to get nuked by the opposite country because, you know, nuclear exchange. I I think one thing we we uh, we didn't consider about nuclear war is that by the time we would ever reach this kind of this level of crisis, our cultures would have decayed to the point where no one cares enough about each other for this to matter. So, you know, even in Russia, they're experiencing cultural decay across Europe. It's cultural decay in the United States. It's cultural decay. I'd imagine, you know, in the 50s, people were much more like America, woo, like as a nation, much more unified. Not anymore. I mean, America, Americans are at each other's throats. And it's not even just the left and the right. There's sub-factions of leftists fighting Democrats and libertarians arguing with conservatives. And to varying degrees, it's serious. I can't imagine that someone's going to be like, I have to do this to save my people. They're going to be like, what people? I want to be rich. You yeah, know? a lot of people have been dehumanized. And I yeah. think that's another aspect that we should understand here when it comes to this kind of proxy war that has people killing each other in the fields. Uh, th there's a great movie that just came out on Netflix. Uh, what was it called? Everyone's talking about it right now. The uh, World War One movie. World War One movie. Yeah. Uh, absolutely great movie, and it shows you the, the the shocking horror of realities and how these politicians and these bureaucrats and their high towers that are literally deciding, you know what? Just go kill each other. Just go murder each other. And that is just. And, and the movie critiqued that very heavily. Uh, all quiet on the Eastern Front. West, I think on the Western, Western Front. All quiet on the Western Front. Definitely worth a watch to understand here because the same footage that I saw in that movie, it's the same footage that I'm seeing when I'm trying to do my research on what's happening in Ukraine and mm -hmm. watching the footage from the Russians and the Ukrainians. It's almost identical when it comes to. Because of the homeless. bombing, yeah. the trench warfare, the the hand to hand combat that you sometimes see, the the blood, the explosions, it's 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 something that is absolutely uncomfortable, unnatural for humanity to deal with. This is why a lot of people have PTSD. This is why the the human body isn't you know destined is isn't okay with killing another human being. But for some reason, when someone puts on a special costume and a uniform and tells someone else to do it, they do it. That is a stupid, asinine idea that is dehumanizing. That is absolutely stupid and backwards and needs to be challenged more than ever right now.